I thank you for taking the time to chat with me. I just absolutely, I really enjoyed this film. Thank you. And I want to get right into talking to you about your character. I wish I had a teacher thank like you. you when I was in school. Oh, thank you so very I really much. want to talk about um, the tone you set for this teacher. I mean, honestly, um, uh, the film was around a time, and I, I have two children, and they were very close to that age. And I think for me, the way I wanted to approach Mr. Benedict was just from an open space, a very supportive space, and a, a space where he's just listening in that kind of way. I wanted, I wanted a kind of gentleness to him, you know, because obviously he's coming in, he's nervous, you know, this is his first like time being able to step into his dream of being a teacher. Um, and it's like he's learning on the fly. And I think that's like such a big thing with parenting and teachers are definitely working with the kids and, you know, a lot of ways. And I just wanted to be open to that, to like what I'm actually was experiencing as a parent and dealing with that. And um, I'm happy that people can kind of feel that gentleness and warmth that Mr. Benedict brought to it. Because I think kids need that, you know, they need the support uh they don't always have the answers but then sometimes when you ask them questions they can really get the wheels turning too so just like that just being inquisitive listening supportive kind of vibe so that was kind of what I was trying to hone into well you did it because I love the fact that the authenticity of your character was important because you could see his nervousness but he was okay with that and I think that was the key to making the students feel comfortable talking with him because as teachers you know you go and you want to just like be the big teacher and do a thing but I really like that you did that yeah. so in in a journey like this for you as an actor you know we're always learning things as we go through our craft what did you come away with doing this particular movie and the journey for yourself as an actor what did you take away for yourself I mean I, I would say I kind of had to look at it from a broader aspect even above, above just being an actor like just being a creative or artist because watching uh, Kelly Freeman Craig, like how how wonderful she was with the cast, how she she just had such a whimsical, special way of like communicating her vision and getting the most out of all the people she worked with. And then you look at people like James L. Brooks and how like supportive and the ideas could just pour out. And you know, I just really looked at it from this perspective that we were all just like this big community, just like giving our all to this film. And it was just such a really loving, free, creative space, you know? Um, so I really looked at different parts, like, you know, of my artistry, whether it's from directing or writing or acting or any of these aspects, like, and just tried to pull in different things. It was also cool working with a lot of these kids because they're really talented. And they're really on the pulse of like, you know, uh, t today and like what's, you know, all these things that are coming up. And it's so cool to see this movie be able to tell this really important story from this perspective. And that's like things that I learned, I feel like when I read the book and when I watched the film that it's kind of minutia that might slip past you, you know? So I really just tried to take in everything as a human, as an artist. And I really feel like it did help me on my artistic journey. And, um, I think that's just when you surround yourself with really creative, amazing people, that type of stuff can happen. And that's what I really felt like this whole set embodied. If there was one thing you'd want a young person to take away, a young girl and a parent would take away, what would that be? Yeah, you know, I really, I, support, you know, support. And also, You know, a, a thing that I'm learning is that as the as our children start stepping into their adulthood, it's easy for us to constantly want to clinch in and beat the parents and say, hey, you got to do this, you got to do that. But it really has to start becoming a negotiation mm -hmm. as they become that age of young adult, you know, teen years and whatnot, because they're starting to look at life in a completely different way. And they have perspectives and they're finding their own voice. So if you negotiate and work as a team, support each other, I think that's how you really get the real benefit out of your children. Like Rachel McAdams' character, I love how she was like, we're not choosing a religion for her. We're going to let her decide which one she wants, right? That really empowers kids. 
it empowers young people to feel like they're, they're trusted to be themselves, that they're trusted to make good decisions. So I would say support, listen, be open and negotiate. Like, yes. I think it's really important. Yeah. Indeed. Well, I absolutely enjoy your performance. I can't wait to see more of you on the big screen. Thank and you. Yes, I appreciate everyone should that. go out and watch this movie. And thank you yes. so much for your time and being such a gentle, wonderful, supportive teacher in the role. Thank you. I appreciate thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right, Thanks. you too.